harvest of babies. Babies are God's heritage, the heart of God, the heartbeat of parents. In Mercy City, babies flow like water with an ease of passage. Miracles and other ills are gone with the wind. IVF is not a question. Barren women become fertile in the headquarters of the factory of babies. Find your identity in your maker God with apples. Make one, get two, receive triplets, deliver quadruplets. Eggs are more important than omelets. Babies are more important than eggs. There is no barren woman in heaven. It's a harvest of babies. Marriage is ordained by God. As a man and a woman comes together, it is to continue the process of multiplying the earth. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 8 says, God created man in his own image. In his own image created he male and female, both he created them. And he blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply the earth. Yes, so when a man and a woman comes together in only matrimony, it is mandatory for them to multiply and be fruitful with babies. But why barrenness and delay in having babies? Psalm 107 verse 37 says, A fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those that dwell in it. Yes, the enemy and the wickedness of the world is one of the greatest hindrances to fruitfulness today. Forgetting what the scripture says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14, that none shall be barren in the land. God has mandated his servant, senior prophet Jeremiah, a mortal friend, to break every yoke of barrenness and deliver all those that have been oppressed, proving that Mercy City is a Holy Ghost factory of babies. It is a covenant. You see, senior prophet Jeremiah, a mortal friend, blessing these babies, and in return, these angelic babies bless those that are barren with babies. God bless you. This is, I am renewing my covenants. Yes, sir. Someone say, renew it. Renew it. Don't sit down. Don't take it easy. It's my food. I have to enjoy it. Every month you see a lot of apple babies being dedicated to God in Mercy City. Apple, someone say, apple babies. Is that for the poor? Babies, apple babies are, don't touch. Apple babies that are here, les enfants de I want you people to know that je veux que les enfants, I must carry my sage, Samuel is real. Je, je mon Samuel, I want to dedicate these apple babies. Je suis là pour they ces are enfants. apple children. Les apple de twins, pommes. apple, les enfants de jumeaux, male, les female. Jumeaux. So we have apple babies here. And those are the world that start barren, testifying to God, all to his name. Glory to God. What brought me to Mesilla was insult and disgrace of barrenness of 10 years. That 10 years, it like is 100 years because the insult, the shame, and the disgrace was so much. I never knew I was pregnant. I was just moving around. That was how a barren woman became a maid, man. We were barren for a good 10 years. I discovered the way our daddy used to wipe away the tears of barrenness people. I use the ampoule. You can see the last year program. Here is the result. Bouncing baby boy. I was believing God for the fruit of the womb for the past six years. Our papa came to Italy for a program in Napoli. Our papa prayed for ample and for me, I and my husband, we ate it. That same month, God blessed me with this bouncing baby boy. I was looking for the fruits of the womb for the past nine years. I came here. I must carry my Samuel program. Man of God blessed the apple. I took the apple with my husband. We did what we were supposed to do as husband and wife. Yes, and the result is this baby. I was painful because of, for four years, darkness. Man of God blessed apple for us. We eat the apple as husband and wife. We made to as husband and wife. We went to scan. The scan tell me that, Madam, 
congratulations. I said, for what? I said, it's triplet. That very day, when I went to the hospital, after, it's not even too long, I delivered all of them one time. Powers! I've been barren for 21 good years. I said, God of Jeremiah, come and see me through. The man of God blessed the apple and I went home and eat it with my husband. Then I was pregnant. Power! Hallelujah! Stories of miscarriages and still births are things of the past. Exodus 23 verse 26 says, They shall not cast their young, and none shall be buried in the land. Thou shalt fulfill thy days. I was buried for 11 years. I have been experiencing a series of miscarriages. I have overdue pregnancy 11 months. I was pregnant for two years. The only time that I give birth to the baby, with that moment, the baby will just die. It will happen two times. The God of senior prophet Jeremiah almost of me is mighty. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 says, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if thou continue in faith and charity. The covenant seeds of mercy city deliver like Hebrew women. No more 50-50, no more evil report. There is an ease of passage. They go in and come back rejoicing with their babies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the puissance of Jesus, be healed, be delivered, accouche, be delivered, accouche. Je bénis. L'homme de Dieu a prié tout à l'heure. Psalm 127 verse 3 says, Behold, children are the heritage of the Lord, and fruit of the womb is his reward. This is harvest of babies. Christ, mercy, land. Arena of solution and power. Christ, mercy, land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Mrs. Josephine Sunday from Benue State, but I reside in Kaduna State. I'm here to glorify the name of the Lord for what he has done in my life. For five years, I've been married, no fruit of the womb. Mm. So we have gone to several hospitals, no solution, nothing. But the doctor confirmed that um, my, my tubes are blocked. So they said I should come for operation. But me and my husband, we did not agree on that operation. We said the, the God of Awamama would do it for us because we have been watching Christ and uh, Mercy TV for some time now. So we now decide to come down to seek the face of God. Mm. So last year, in the month September 2017, me and my husband came down to Christ Mercy Land and man of God locate, located us during the course of the service. Mm -hmm. So since then, he now blessed Apple for us. We went back as husband and wife. We do normal, do normal thing. The way husband and wife do. Normal. So, and I do normal thing. I'm pregnant. And power. And you are just sitting down like that. Power. Jump your hands together for Jesus. This is harvest of babies. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Mrs. Amaka Wakama from it. Okay. My testimony goes like this. In the year 2014, I got married. After that, whenever I'm pregnant, then I now see blood in my dream. I will now see, everything will now cause miscarriage. Till 2016. A sister told me that she will be going for a Moscari my somewhere at Mercy City. That she will bless an apple for man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Motofifin. That she will bring the apple for me. Mm. After everything, she now came back and gave me the apple. Mm. After eating the apple with my husband, Anna took in, became pregnant. Power! 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 
power. This is harvest of babies. My mercy lands. Arena of solution and power. Mercy lands. Arena of solution and power. My name is Mrs. Vera Izeko. I came from Italy, but I'm from Nigeria. Okay. My testimony goes like this. I was believing God for the fruit of the womb for the past six years. Mm. So, I think 2016, our papa came to Italy for a program in Napoli. Mm. So, a friend of mine now called me and she told me that there is a program. So, I went there. Getting there, our papa prayed for ample. Our papa prayed for ample and for me. And when I got home, I, I and my husband, we ate it. <laughs> we ate the ample, and that night, we did some praises. After the praises, <laughs> that same month, God blessed me with this bouncing baby boy. Power! Show your hands together for Jesus. This is harvest of babies. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Ole Dokoro. I'm from Abia State. My testimony goes like this. I was looking for the fruits of the womb for the past nine years. On the process, I had a lot of encounters. A lot of people, especially my in-laws. None of them, in fact, they were trying to talk my husband out of the marriage. Actually, I didn't know. That year, when I came here, that 216, I must carry my Samuel program. One of God blessed the apple and said we should do it and it's going to be happening in batches. So, on that faithful month, my own was, I was in fact, I'm, I'm on the third batch. So, when it happened, I took the apple with my husband. We did what we are supposed to do as husband and wife. Yes, and the result is this baby. Power! Can we put our hands together for Jesus once again? This is harvest of babies. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Joy Abuji. From I am from Imo State. Okay. This is my state testimony. In 2015, when Prophet Jeremiah came to Patakot at Elekaya Stadium, mm. he brought me out and my husband in the, the thousands of people that were there mm. and told me that the day of my marriage, there is a woman that said, I will never enjoy my marriage. Mm wish he blessed an apple and now that i'm looking for the fruit of the womb i say yes he blessed an apple for i and my husband i confirm the prophecy to be true because since 2009 i got i got married i've buried i have given birth to two children and they all passed out at the age of seven months and nine months so during that time i since 2012 i I, I was unable to conceive again. I was going from one hospital to another, from one midwife to another, all to no solution. So when he blessed an apple and said I should go and carry my Samuel, we went home and prayed with the, uh, with the apple and see ourselves as husband and wife. That was how I become pregnant after two months mm. and give birth to my baby. 2016. This is harvest of babies. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Clara Oka. I came from Bayasa State. Okay. My testimony goes like this. 2015, I was seeking for fruit of the womb for nine good years. Mm. So 2015, I came to this program. I must carry my son well. And after three months, I got pregnant. And I came, when I came, I vowed that I said, when my pregnancy is seven good months, I will come here to testify. And exactly the seven months, I came to testify. And when I get back, baby boy, I said, I will come with him to testify again. Praise As the Lord. Hallelujah. Jam your hands together for Jesus. This is harvest of babies. Mercy, Lord. 
Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Becky Ephraim Perisco. I come from River State. And the people standing beside me, my family, these are my family members. I want to come and testify the good work of the Lord in my life. I was pregnant for two years. I went to so many places. The baby was not showing and I was bleeding for that two years. I've been to so many places. Anywhere I go to, they said, Madam, there is no baby in your womb. To the extent that I've gone to so many places and if I go, so many scans have did that say that, Madam, your baby is not showing that you don't have baby in your womb. Until one day, my mommy now called me and said, come, let's go to Mercy City. Your problem will be solved there. Power! So, when we came to Mercy City, the man of God prayed for me. Immediately he prayed for me, he kicked my apple and I ate the apple immediately. So, when we get back to Port Harcourt, I started feeling somehow, and I went back to the doctor that asked me to go to a church, a living church. So when I went there, he now checked me and said, where did you go to? She, you told me that you want to go to Mercy City. I said, yes. He now asked me, what did they give to you? I said, nothing. He asked me again, what did they give to you? I said, nothing. He said, the reason why I'm asking you it's because your baby has positioned well. And he was, he was very surprised and he asked me, what did they give to you there? I said, nothing. The man of God only prayed for me and I ate the apple. So he now told me that the baby is sure, you know. And so I started laughing. I said, ha, for where? He said, okay, if you are doubting me, go and do the pregnancy test. You will see your baby. I said, okay, now no wala because... I've done so many tests and baby is not showing. So I was not sure of what he said. So and I went and did the pregnancy. People of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus once again? So Mark, go ahead. We are listening to you. Immediately I did the pregnancy test. The baby appeared. And they saw the baby that they told me that madam... Congrats, your baby is now showing. Can we celebrate that God once again? People of God appreciate him in the house. Oh my goodness. So, and I went for scan and the doctor told me that, ah, Becky, your baby is too big. I said, no, Allah, let the baby big. She, you are the one that used to tell me that you don't need to see baby in my womb. I want this baby to be very, very big. And I will deliver this baby right inside my room. That is my faith. I told the doctor like that. So, when Papa was um, dedicating children on the third year, the last day of April, so he started praying and he said, viewers all over the world, touch your scream, every overdue pregnancy, touch your scream, you will deliver immediately. I now told the, my co-wife that was with me inside the room, I asked her to give me water. She used the water and touched the scream. Immediately, she gave me the water to drink and rubbed it on my tummy. I delivered the baby right inside my room with the placenta. People of God, come up by your feet once again. Can we give the Lord a shout? This is Harvest of Babies. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Sister Harmony Johnson. Mm -hmm. I am carrying these twins. The man beside me is my brother. Okay. I came here as a result of Baroness 2016. The prophet appeared to me in my dream after watching I, the I Must Carry My Sabbath in 2015. On 2016, I now had a dream. Where the prophet appeared to me, he said, Madam, where is your husband? He said, My husband is not around. He went to work. Okay. He said, There is a program going on tomorrow. I want you to come in Mercy Land. Through so, the dream? In the dream? Yes. Where were you then? I was in Ugeli. 
Watching Mercy TV. Yes. All right. In my house. The next day, I now told my husband that I had a dream that I want to go to that Mercy City. He now, we came together. And you came with your husband? Yes. After and we the came dream. very late. We start you, at you the back. You came late? Yes. So we now hide ourselves at the back. You are hiding? When the man of God now took the microphone, just the way he came out this afternoon, he now ran down where we were sitting. He said, Madam, follow me. Oh. We now followed him. He said, when we came outside, he now said, where is your children? I started crying. I said, I don't have any word. I asked my husband. My husband said, we don't have. He said, but you went to hospital. What did the hospital, hospital, uh, doctor told you last week? My husband said, doctor said that we have primary and secondary infertility. And my wife is having What kind of facility? Months. Primary and secondary infertility. Go ahead. He said, my, we have... Me and my husband, we have primary and secondary infertility. Primary um, on my own and side. secondary infertility. Ah, is this school? We have primary school. We have secondary schools. Doctor with your language, say, it's not my portion. Uh-huh. Then my husband said, my wife, too. They say my wife have uh, five brothers. When the man of God said that, he now told me, Madam, they say you have five broad, but God said I should tell you that he wants to change everything in that womb to a child. He now uh, uh, I turn it to what? That turn he wants to change the, the, the man of God said he wants to turn it to a baby. To babies. Yeah. Before he said by this time next year, I'm going to I'm coming to testify. I say amen. So exactly okay. February 2017, I gave birth to this boy. That boy. Power. This boy. Man, last month, I gave birth to these twins. You now gave birth to these twins? Yes, sir. Again? Yes, sir. Power! What are the sex of the babies? The twins are the girls. Somebody say, I need twins! I need twins! My this is Harvest of Babies. Mercy Land! Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land! Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Mrs. Serena Tena. Okay. From Benway State. Who is the person standing beside you? The, the person standing beside me is my neighbor. He's your neighbor? Yes. It's okay. Go ahead with your testimony. My testimony is like this. I was married in 2008. Mm -hmm. And God, immediately God blessed me with a baby boy. In 2009. After that, no issue again. I'm starting praying with the God. I'm crying, God, why? One year, two year, nine year. Last year, I'm here in Mercy Land. For I must carry my somewhere. Mm. I started crying, God. Man of God said that this I must carry my somewhere. If you are barren for how many years, but your tears will wipe for this year. And I, I, I agree. I say, Amen. So after everything, they pray for apple. I ate one and I took one to the house. We ate. And we met as a husband and wife. Brethren, behold, next month I took it. I took it, I hear it's my somewhere. People of God, jump up your feet and shout hallelujah. This is Harvest of Babies. Mercy Land. Mercy Land. My name is Mrs. Lydia Roberts. I am from Bayasa State. My testimony is barrenness for four years. 2014, I got married to my husband, and since then, no fruit of the womb. In 2016, my neighbor introduced this Mercy TV to me. After more deliberation, I came. We stayed. After the program, we went home. Nothing happened. 
2017, my mother-in-law called me and said, Lydia, there is an ongoing program in Mercy City. I want you and your husband to be there. I said, Mommy, you know my husband. You know my husband. I said, okay, you have me to talk to him also. Then after everything, we agreed. We came, and a little challenge, we passed through. He went, and everything, as we came, we continued with the program. Even though that the devil wanted to really, did not really want us to stay the program. When we came, we went to mountain. After the mountain, we prayed. A man of God blessed our apple. After the program, I and my husband got home and we ate the apple. We blessed the apple. We prayed with it. We did what we are supposed to do as directed. And uh, on the earth, in fact, that month did not pass me by. Power! People of God, put your hands together for Jesus. It was like a film to me. It was like a film. So I went home and... You deliver? I deliver. I was pregnant of this wonderful baby here. And after nine months, I delivered safely. People of God, put your hands together. Once again for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Harvest of Babies. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. I am Mr. and Mrs. Kerotu Perebibo from Bayasa State. We have a secondary barrenness. From 2008, my wife began to have a spiritual husband. We faced this spiritual husband for almost 10 years. The last I must carry my Samuel program, we came here and we were able to, we were able to collect these blessed apples. As we went back home, we ate them together and we slept her husband and wife. Behold, two months into the into our arrival, my wife conceived. Power! Are you celebrating Jesus for this testimony? Yes, sir, we are listening to you. From that moment, spiritual husband disappeared. Power! My wife delivered peacefully like an Hebrew woman in nine months. And this is the result of the baby. Wow! People of God celebrate Jesus once again. Hallelujah. This is Harvest of Babies. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Ezia Israel Efemena. We are, we are from Olomoro community, Sokosa local government. Olomoro, Sokoma, yes, my people. The lady sitting behind, beside me is my lovely wife, Mrs. Ezia Mercy. Early last year, we got married because I don't want to delay in the fruit of the womb. Immediately after the marriage, the following Sunday, I came here with my wife with two apples. I mean, How many apples? Two apples. So the two. Two. So after your marriage, you just enter into Mercy City. Yes, we came, we came to Mercy Land. So that Sunday, the man of God blessed the two apples. He prayed for all of us. We ate the apple inside the church. That day, that same day, me and my wife we met as husband and wife. So, so two weeks later, my wife was feeling abnormal. I took her to my daughter. My daughter ran test on her, and he confirmed that my wife is two weeks pregnant. And, and today, through the grace of Prophet Jeremiah, I'm a proud father of twins, two bouncing baby girls. Power! Bouncing baby girls! Women, are you happy? <laughs> this is Harvest of Babies. Arena Solution and Power. 
Merci la. Arena of solution and power. My name is Rita Bright. The man sitting there me is my husband. I am here to testify the word of God. From the goodness where? Of God, from from Bayesa. Okay. Sila. Arena of solution and power. I am here to testify the goodness of God in my life. I come here, year 2016. I was painful because of for four years barrenness. How many years? Uh, four years. Four good years. I went to a mountain and saw seeds. I said, God, this year you will not pass me by. You went to a mountain and saw a seed. Yes, sir. Yeah, that word, yeah, that word. Seed. We don't come to the mean, the mean. Somebody, the mean, the mean. The, the mean, the mean. This one, you will not pass me by. And she gone to the mountain and she saw a seed. Sacrifice. And what about? After sowing the seeds, I know that my God will supply me. Mm -hmm. we, went, we went there. Man of God blessed apple for us. When we go back to Bayesa, we eat apple as husband and wife. We went, we went to her husband and wife after one month. I'm feeling very bad. I said, God, I don't know what is happening because of my stomach is Four good big. years. Four good years. Four years in marriage. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw a sacrifice of his, his 5,000 naira I saw that very day. You sold 5,000 naira as a seed. Yes, sir. As a sacrifice. Yes, sir. That very day. Yes, sir. And what happened? So after that month, the next month, my stomach is very big. I said, God, I don't know what is happening. Your stomach so, was just coming up, coming up. You don't know what happened. Yes, sir. Or you have forgotten the seed. <laughs> she was forgotten what she have done in the mountains in Mississippi. Uh huh. So I was always telling my husband, that I don't understand because of my stomach is big every day. Every day. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> So. Coming up like balloon every day, yes, sir. Okay, so after three months to four months. months to five months, okay, five we months, went, we went to scan. The scan told me that, Madam, congratulations. I said, For what? He said, You see, the man said, It's triplet. I said, No, sir, I don't believe. Say, Man, Madam, look your head, you will see your children. Ha, oh, as I mean, lie down in bed. I was crying. I said, God, I don't request for three plates because I don't have three hands. I have only one hand. The woman, the man told me that, Madam, don't worry. God will supply everything you need. I said, no. I don't believe that. So I come back. I, tell, I come out. I tell my husband, I say, oh, God, I'll see what's in the apple. No. He said, no. That was, that was not possible. I said, don't worry. Oh, God said, no. No, not possible. What do you tell your God? You say what? Oh, God said, doctor say, we get. Doctor said, you people have triplets. triplets. You now told your husband. Yes, and your husband said, no. It cannot possible. It can't be possible. Yes, I am forgetting about the seed. How can? Uh -huh. So, that very day I saw that seed. That is the only money inside my pocket. Oh, I don't yeah. have any money. Listen, listen. Eh? What do you say? That very day we, we come here, I don't have any money in my pocket. That only 5,000. With the one that with me. Because I use why, that why, to why, why, why use that one to sow a seed? I believe God, God will do it for me because of God is doing it for other people, so God will so also do it my own. Mm. What about next? Because of people are mocking us always, they will see us and say, Ah, this one I have don't have babies. But with my God, God supplies one time. So I want to thank God. For delivering, I deliver like a boom because after that time, after the nine months, I went to scan again. Sans said, No, while well, you will deliver like a boom woman. The day that my soul has started feeling pains, I went to somewhere to go and massage. The woman told me, Say it's labor because of, I don't experience that kind of thing because I feel that many people are telling me that you will do operation before you will take you will born these three children. So this, they describe any place to, for me so to go. I say, I know I don't go anywhere because I believe my God, the God of woman, woman will do it for me. That very day, when I went to the hospital, after, it not even too long, I delivered all of them one time. Powers! Power!
doesn't waste time, she delivered all of them at once. Hey, your pregnancy, you must deliver like Igbo women. Amen. This is harvest of babies. Merci la. Arena of solution and power. Merci la. Arena of solution and power. My name is Onyema Gift. I'm from Delta State Kwale. My testimony goes like this. I have overdue pregnancy, 11 months, and the doctor said I would deliver with operation. I said no, that I will not deliver with operation. I decided to come to Christ Mercy Land. And the doctor said my service is tied, that I cannot deliver safely, that I will deliver with operation. I came to Christ Mercy Land and I met with the man of God and he prayed with me and gave me the oil of mercy. And he asked me to use it to rub my tummy. That is how I deliver safely like every woman. Harvest of babies. Babies are God's heritage, the heart of God, the heartbeat of parents. In Mercy City, babies flow like water with an ease of passage. Miracles and other ills are gone with the wind. IVF is not a question. Barren women become fertile in the headquarters of the factory of babies. Find your identity in your maker, God. With apples, make one, get two, receive triplets, deliver quadruplets, Eggs are more important than omelettes. Babies are more important than eggs. There is no barren woman in heaven. It's a harvest of babies. Marriage is ordained by God. As a man and a woman comes together, it is to continue the process of multiplying the earth. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 8 says, God created man in his own image. In his own image created he male and female, both he created them. And he blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply the earth. Yes, so when a man and a woman comes together in only matrimony, it is mandatory for them to multiply and be fruitful with babies. But why barrenness and delay in having babies? Psalm 107 verse 37 says, A fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those that dwell in it. Yes, the enemy and the wickedness of the world is one of the greatest hindrances to fruitfulness today. Forgetting what the scripture says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14, that none shall be barren in the land. God has mandated his servant, senior prophet Jeremiah, a mortal friend, to break every yoke of barrenness and deliver all those that have been oppressed, proving that Mercy City is a Holy Ghost factory of babies. It is a covenant. You see, senior prophet Jeremiah, a mortal friend, blessing these babies, and in return, these angelic babies bless those that are barren with babies. God bless you. This is, I am renewing my covenant. Yes, sir. Someone say, renew it. Renew it. Don't sit down. Don't take it easy. It's my food. I have to enjoy it. Every month you see a lot of apple babies being dedicated to God in Mercy City. Apple, someone say, apple babies. Is that for the poor? Babies, apple babies are, don't touch. Les enfants de Pont. Voici les enfants de Pont. Je veux que 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 les enfants de Pont. Je veux what brought me to Mercy Land was insult and disgrace of barrenness of 10 years. That 10 years, it like is 100 years because the insult, the shame and the disgrace was so much. I never knew I was pregnant. I was just moving around. 
That was how a barren woman become a maid. Because we were barren for a good ten years. I discovered the way our daddy used to wipe away the tears of barrenness people. I used the ampoule. You can see the last year program. Here is the result. Bouncing baby boy. I was believing God for the fruit of the womb for the past six years. Our papa came to Italy for a program in Napoli. Our papa prayed for ample and for me, I and my husband, we ate it. That same month, God blessed me with this bouncing baby boy. I was looking for the fruits of the womb for the past nine years. I came here. I must carry my Samuel program. Man of God blessed the apple. I took the apple with my husband. We did what we were supposed to do as husband and wife. Yes, and the result is this baby. I was painful because of, for four years, barrenness. Man of God blessed apple for us. Eat apple, as husband and wife. We made to a husband and wife. We went to scan. The scan told me that, Madam, congratulations. I said, for what? I said, it's triplet. That very day, when I went to hospital, after, it's not even too long, I delivered all of them one time. Powers! I've been barren for 21 good years. I said, God of Jeremiah, come and see me through. The man of God blessed the apple and I went home and ate it with my husband. Then I was pregnant. Power! Hallelujah! Stories of miscarriages and still births are things of the past. Exodus 23 verse 26 says, they shall not cast their young, and none shall be buried in the land. Thou shalt fulfill thy days. I was buried for 11 years. I have been experiencing a series of miscarriages. I have overdue pregnancy, 11 months. I was pregnant for two years. The only time that I give birth to the baby, with that moment, the baby will just die. It will happen two times. The God of senior prophet Jeremiah almost of me is mighty. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 says, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if thou continue in faith and charity. The covenant seeds of mercy city deliver like Hebrew women. No more 50-50, no more evil report. There is an ease of passage. They go in and come back rejoicing with their babies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the puissance of Jesus, be healed, be delivered, accouche, be delivered, accouche. Je bénis. L'homme de Dieu a prié tout à l'heure. Psalm 127 verse 3 says, Behold, children are the heritage of the Lord, and fruit of the womb is his reward. This is harvest of babies.